Hello again guys and welcome back to another UE4 Basics tutorial. The first one we did, if my memory serves me right, was the nighttime scene. Now that one was a very basic one for anybody who wants to create a scene in the night. Very basic, but now we're going to step it up and we're going to mess around with the level blueprint and we're going to make a day-night cycle. Now this is very, very effective for people who want to create a very very basic night scene and they want to hook up this night scene to maybe a watch or something they're using uh, or any anything really but let's get right into it let's call this one the day night underscore cycle create a new project in UE4 as we always do and create the project now this one is a bit more it's still very very basic but it's a bit more complex than the last one because the last one we were just messing around with the blueprint of the sky sphere now again we're going to use that but we're going to uh, change up a bit now we're going to we might as well keep these but again we're going to need the light source so we'll put this into the root of the editor again get rid of all these we don't need any of these and we need the sky sphere as well we'll put that in the root Okay, so first things first, we need the light source and we need to change this light source mobility from stationary to movable because if it's not movable, there's no point in making the blueprint because it won't stay, it won't go anywhere. And we also need the level blueprint. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna put this up here so that it's in the tabs. And this is our level blueprint. So this blueprint will affect everything in the level you're creating. And it will constantly run as soon as you play the game. It will, it's not a standalone blueprint, it will affect the entire game. So be careful with this when you're using it. So this is all we need. We need the level blueprint and we need to create a couple of... Well, we need, we need stuff to put in the level blueprint. So. Uh, we need the sky sphere here. We're going to select it, go into the little blueprint, right, right click, and create a reference. Make sure context sensitive is on for this, otherwise it won't come up. So let's create a reference. Whoa, that's, let's uh, put this here. And we also need a reference to the light source as well. So have that selected. Go into the level blueprint, right click, and create a reference to that as well. So those two are there, and let's compile that. We also need a variable so in the left hand side we've got my blueprint and the variable so let's add a variable and let's call this sun speed because that will be the speed of the sun uh, we don't need this global because we're only using it for the level blueprint but we do need to change the variable type right here in the details and let's change that to a float so it's basically so it's just a basic number variable and let's compile that so a default value will appear and let's set that to around about 10 for the purpose of this tutorial. So 10 is a very, very fast speed. And if you were going to create a level, you'd probably put it, I don't know, 0 0.1. So it'd be like in real time. This is really, really quick. Anyway, so let's grab this sun speed, drag it into our level blueprint, and let's get that. So there it is. Okay, let's start building our, our blueprint. So we'll right click and we'll go event tick and let's select that. Make sure it has delta seconds because it's very, very important. So we're gonna drag off delta seconds to begin with and let's type in multi. And it should just be under the float, float times float, which is a simple multiplication. And let's hook the sun speed up to the other connector. So them two are nice their, their times in each other at the moment. And let's also return value off this. And let's type in make rot, which is a make rotator. And it depends what version of the engine you're using, but normally it'll just, they've switched it around. So in the old versions, the pitch was on top, but now it's the roll. So we just need to hold Alt and click on that. So it unhooks from that. We don't need the roll, we need the pitch. So we're gonna hook that up to the pitch. But again, if you're using an earlier version of the engine, that should not matter. In the slayer, it should automatically be on pitch, but take that away with you and make sure it is on pitch. And let's get off this event tick, this executable, 
let's get that and let's type in add rotator uh, oh sorry add actor local and let's take off context sensitive for this so untick that and it'll just be the rotation so add actor local rotation and there we are and what we're going to use for this one is the light source Again, if you're using an earlier version of the engine, it will be directional light or something around that. And let's connect that up to the target because that's the rotation of the target. And the delta rotation can go into the make rotator return value. So I'll hook up. Okay. And we're actually, lo and behold, almost there. Simple, right? So let's get this execution off. Let's drag that out and let's update the sun direction so the engine knows to automatically update it and let's hook the sky sphere reference into the target and the last thing we need to do is to right click on this delta seconds this is why it's very important and promote to a variable and this variable name let's call it delta seconds because that's what it is and let's just compile that and let's drag this in and make sure the sun direction execution wall is into that delta seconds. Make sure we can actually see everything. Make sure it's actually nice and neat. And let's compile it. Now, that's everything. So let's go into here. That's There's the sun. And let's uh, go into the game. Let's just play it. As we can see, the sun is going down. It's going down. It's now sunset. It's beautiful little sun. Off it goes into the ground. As you can see, it's like that. And now the sun is coming up again. And there it is. Off it goes. And it'll actually orbit as if the sun is going to move. So the high noon, dead sun. Have it off, so. Again, that is uh, that's it. That's the day-night cycle. Let's just quickly. You can, if well, I'll show you that day quick. So for the purpose of, you know, organization, if you have a lot of blueprints, highlight the whole thing, and just press C for a comment. And let's call this a day slash night cycle. And let's compile it out. And there you go, that's a day night cycle. Simple, right? Very easy and very, very effective in any game you want to create. Now, I hope you had a brilliant time watching this. I know I've had a fun time making it. And if you guys did like that, make sure to give me all thumbs up and a sub if you really want to watch more content of mine. And I will see you guys later.